There's five different destinations progress is counted up once you've done the ten. I I Henry, it, honestly, I don't know how this is working now. Thanks for, thanks for moving so close to me, mate. That really helped. You completed your 10 out of 10 of the reward also 405, Henry. So what did you do, Henry? Did you go from like, did you go through that list and do each individual city source? One trailer from each race team, one from each city. That's where I think they went wrong, Tom Sunday. Because they said take a trailer from each team, that's where they've gone wrong. I think they should have worded that. Take a take a trailer from each city. That would have been clear. Because most people don't realise that each city has a different team. Yeah? Uh, Guardian, thank you for four months. Ooh, score logistics pickup. Oh, yeah. The rules from STS are always a bit pants, Tommy. Yeah, I... I I, maybe they don't understand the ambiguity in some of the things. I don't know. I kind of feel like they should just run it past the community a little bit. Just take some of the testing team and say, does this sound like logical to you? I don't know if it is lost in translation. I suspect if you translated it, it would still read, take a trailer from each team. And that's the problem. If you, if you take the point of view that most people, when they look at this list, don't realize that each city has its own team. If you understand that concept that each city has its own team, that makes perfect sense. But so a person who just starts the game up and doesn't understand all of this, just Spell it out. Just say, take each one of the trailers from each city. Just say that. And then put a tick next to it when they do it, just to make it super easy. There's no arguing. Just do the progress for them. I bet they've got loads of support tickets about this. Honestly, I bet they've got so many like people going... I've done like five jobs and it's only showing one. <laughs> and they're sitting there scratching their heads going, why? <laughs> hey, Rapid, glad you enjoyed it, man. Well, the destination thing is just another complexity, Hugo. Oh, feisty coach driver. We'll see about this. You made 300k from a job this afternoon, your bank accounts are still lacking money, Boatmans. Hey? Wait. Why is this guy not moving?
Why is it not moving? I know there's a bike in front of me. I can see him on the mirror, look. Oh. I think him and the coach driver are having like a... I reckon he's the coach driver's... He is... He's the coach driver's mate. I knew it. I knew it. Scumbag. They were mates. This guy, you're not pulling out in front of my coach driving friend. I'll stop you. The scam is real. They, they, for all we know, they could be like a crash for cash um, thing. Coach driver's got the webcam and the biker is basically putting his life on the line. Trying to get a claim. Like you knock the biker over and the coach driver's straight out going, hey, I saw that, I'm a witness. Thanks. Honestly, the AI in this game is like written by Gandalf. You pull out and the AI is like, thou shalt not pass. It will not give you any ground. The AI is also looking for Frodo. Whoa. <laughs> you never felt like a Balrog when playing this game. <laughs> That's what we are. We're the Balrog truck driver. Well, one thing's for certain, Stevie. It's not got better. That's for sure. Snuggly Wuggly, almost four years. Doesn't feel like it. it. Feels like a sub not that long ago. Thank you, sir. Thank you for almost four years. And you still have the XX in front of Dr. Snuggles. You could have gone X Dr. Snuggles X, but you didn't. You went XX Dr. Snuggles. And I've always wondered why. Would I go back to... Oh, let's not start that one, M. I can't... I cannot be bothered having a, an Android iPhone debate. I can't be bothered with it. Souls are welcome back. Oh, that's a bit close to the railing. Bing! care about phones enough. <laughs> Most people do. Everyone had XX in their screen name before 2000s. Not to my knowledge. Uh, Jeffrey, I have noticed the motorbikes. I think it's something to do with... Um, actually, yes, I know why. Somebody said this last week. The motorbike pack has apparently been integrated into the main AI pack, which means, I think, you don't need the motorbike pack anymore. And if you run both, you end up seeing a lot of motorbikes, which is what I'm doing. I don't know if it's true or not, but somebody said that last week. Uh, should be this week, moments, I'll record one. You sure XX squirrel XX was not a thing? No, no, no. Putting the X's at the beginning and ending, I remember that from Call of Duty. Lots of people did that. They were like XX sniper XX. Just 
Scottish King, how are you doing? Yeah, exactly. XX Quick Scopes XX was a common. That kind of name was super common. Everybody that was like a intervention sniper. Three sixty no scopes. It was back when Call of Duty was good. Well, kind of. COD four. COD four was back when it was good. Jump off a building, 360, snipe in your face, quick scope with an intervention. Whiteland, let me guess, you've been playing Counter-Strike and you've been beating people and now they accuse you of cheating. Am I right? did I know? <laughs> Souls of Power, welcome back. A troubled Noodle. I like that. That's a good name. Trouble Noodle, welcome to the net house. Thank you for the nutty welcome, guys. Wyland, one question. Are you in a... Um, what do they call it? A ranked game. Cisco, you don't play for some time, and it really it deranks you when you don't play. Wow. So it's not like Rainbow Six then, where they just reset your rank every time they bring out a new map. Because Rocket League does that, doesn't it? it just like resets every season. Never gonna get let out, am I? <laughs> Jeez, man. Elastic Jimbo, welcome back. Install the truck mod, but can't buy the truck. It's a it's a normal it's a normal next gen scanner. You need to go and configure a next gen scanner, and then basically pick the P chassis and cap. Your rank is slowed as long as you're playing. Hmm. Is that to make up for the fact they don't have seasons? Is that how it works? Is the cabin view default? What do you mean? View angles and zoom. I don't know what the defaults are. I've had these settings for a long time. Why would it have seasons? Never understood seasons. Um, I think it's because Whiteland. How can I put it? The, the way the way the ranking systems work, I guess, is that in the early days when you haven't played many games your rank moves drastically and then after you've played say 30 40 50 games if you win or lose a game it, it doesn't make like a big difference to your rank whereas if it resets it you say if it resets it then every i don't know three four months gives people a chance to sort of you know if you got better you can kind of come in a bit higher and grind Something like that, I guess. 
just to make people feel like there's a, a reset. I guess it depends how Counter-Strike does the scoring as well. NPR, we're always here at 5 o'clock. <laughs> you don't need Twitch to remind you. And it may not have told you because I went live at 2 o'clock this afternoon. The Rocket League reset is you always lose ranks after a soft reset. I don't know. I guess every developer decides, you know, they want it to work differently. You wish you had a second screen, Dark Blur. Have you not got a phone or a tablet or something? I don't know what then I've not heard anything about that. I, I thought I've not heard that it's gonna change in any way. I just assume that every time they have a new season, they'll have like a new map, some new operators, and they'll reset all the ranks. I've not heard otherwise. But I don't live on Reddit. <laughs> have I got the curved screen? Nah. The curved screen is in a box. I do not get to keep it. It was very, very busy. I can't go flying. I couldn't go flying for two weeks, Boatman, because the weather was always horrendous. I couldn't go flying this week or next week because the, the plane is out of action. I have myself booked in to fly the week after. And I've also booked in the chief flying instructor. I booked him in in July every week for four or five weeks I think it is to get my instrument rating my IMC rating done so that's going to be interesting <laughs> but if I get that on my license that will allow me to fly in um, less favourable conditions shall we say which will be good I, I really want to get that on my license So hopefully by August, I should have a restricted instrument rating. But it does mean flying with the, uh, what they call the foggles. <coughs> well, it basically allows you to fly in clouds and above clouds and all that kind of thing. <coughs> it allows you to do like procedural approaches and stuff. Yeah, they call them foggles because they're basically goggles, but f they're fogged out. So, like, the upper half is completely fogged out. And so when you look through them, uh, they, they essentially blinker the outside view. So all you can see are the instrument panel. And so they're called foggles. They're foggy goggles. <laughs> yeah, they restrict visibility. The other, the other option, instead of the foggle, the other option is... It's just, it's horrendous. It's like a, it's like a cap. It's like basically a box. And I, I hate that. I don't like that at all. The foggles are nicer because they at least let sort of light through. They're a bit like a bathroom window, I guess, on the upper half. You like bathroom glass, like vanity glass. You can't see through it. It's like opaque. It's like that, but it still lets the light through. 
which I don't find quite as um, claustrophobic. It kind of feels more like being in cloud. It's still light, but you just can't see. Have you seen a number of flying schools have uh, switched training to EV? Save a lot of money. Yeah, I, I guess, I mean, EV is going to play a part in aviation as it is in other things, but I don't see it taking off quickly. No. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't know. Battery life is always the problem, as ever. It's the same with flying. Flying around with a lot of batteries is, is you know, they're heavy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Snugs! Snuggy! It's been a while since I did one of these, so I just had to. So, thank you, Snugs. Thank you, my man. And I hope things are well with you. Thank you for the uh, for the tip. Smear Vaseline over the windscreen. Lol. <laughs> Sounds like a great solution for the next guy. Hey, Neil J. I'm good. Take the wipers off. What did you play before ETS2? How far back do you want to go? <laughs> In all seriousness. I mean, if you're just talking about the YouTube channel, for example, or the Twitch stream, Battlefield 3. Daisy, Battlefield 4. Oh, I thought it was a lane drop off then. Actually, it was Battlefield 3, Daisy, Battlefield 4, Armour. And then I basically started to um, go into the sim side of it. Now let's stay in this lane. And if you're talking about today, Skylines. <laughs> nah, I have no plans to play Daisy again. Absolutely none. I haven't played BF5, no. Uh, I, I just kind of stopped after BS4. The BF, the BF5 Firestorm, oh, yeah. is it Firestorm? The battlefield, the battle uh, ground burians. That might be interesting, but I've pe I've seen people play it, and they just seem to pick up the same guns all the time. This is where the battleground thing falls down for me. Like, once people work out the meta for it, it all gets a little bit samey. Grey misfit, thank you very much for the bits. Elastic Jimbo, welcome back. Uh, I did play some of the... I don't play Battle Royale much. I have played some of it, yeah. I played the early stuff. I played PUBG when it came out. Um, I played King of the Hill. Before it was split off. Before it was split off from... Um, oh, what was it called? The zombie game. Uh, what was King of the Hill split off from? H1Z1. That was it. Yeah, I played it when it was part of H1Z1. BF1 is incredible. World War II setting. What I find about Battlefield, though, is... And this is the, re this is the reason for my shift in the shooters that I play. I find Battlefield a bit of a bullet-spongy game. And I don't like bullet-spongy games. I like my I like my bullets to do a lot of damage. So if I put like a round in somebody's face, I like it when they just die. I don't like going pop 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 pop. Why are you not dead yet? The mighty berry. Thank you for subbing. Can we give mighty berry a nutty welcome, guys? Thank you for your support. Yeah, I like armor. What with armor is it tends to get hacked a bit.
Yeah, exactly. That's why I don't play Call of Duty. Because of that. I mean, you can say, well, you can play Battlefield on Hardcore mode, which you can, but then there's hardly anybody playing it on Hardcore mode. I would prefer it if Hardcore mode was the default. Friendly fire and tons of damage. That would be an entertaining Battlefield. Not Bullet Sponge, no friendly fire, oh my god. That's how I get bored. Yeah, Insurgency and Squad, Rainbow Six, they're all the kind of games that are have a higher price of death. Payday, I used to play Payday. Really? Really? We're just going to queue up there, are we? We're just going to stop? Tarkov? Yeah, I've played Tarkov. When the netcode works, it's a good game. Difficult game. With a high learning curve, but... That's the kind of game, if I was, if I was a, um, an FPS streamer, that's the kind of game I would play. Unreal Tournament with the Institute Plasma Rifle. I used to love Unreal Tournament. That was such fun. The flat gun was my favourite. Call of Duty World War II and Hardcore mode was fun, but the respawn fest. That's the other thing. Like, you should not be able to just respawn as quickly as you do. The problem with that, the problem with the game where you... Like, you've got the bullet sponge mechanics, and then when you die, you instantly respawn and come back. Is, you know, in the case of Battlefield, it'll be like a ticketed game. Those people are just like, Leroy! I'm dead. Spawn, take a ticket. Leroy! I'm dead spawn take a ticket and before you know it these people have burned through all of your tickets while you're going around like carefully trying to actually help your team to win and they're just Leroy in left right and center and they cause your team to lose <laughs> there's no throttling and the second thing is the people who play the kind of game that is spawn die spawn die spawn die have really short attention spans and they have really kind of the 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 anger issues I guess because they just want like instant gratification all the time and they don't play games where you if you die like you're out of the round or you have to wait 30 seconds to spawn or you have to wait for your squad leader to advance and put a pack down they don't play games like that because they can't deal with that kind of delay in respawn and that's what attracts me to games like that because those people don't play them <laughs> which sounds ridiculous but it's true Uh, Division 1 I played, Division 2 I bought and haven't played yet, NPR. It's just been like too, too much of a busy week for me to be playing Division 2. Okay, I, it's alright, I don't want to move in. Thank you, 30 months, Berry D. And the mighty barriers subbed as well. That's two lots of berries going on. That's interesting. Coincidence? That's why you like Fortnite. It keeps the kids busy. I agree, Wyland. I absolutely agree. The fact that there are games like that out there means that they go and play those, and that's fine for me. Will I play the Metro Exodus game? I haven't played the other Metro games, so I'd rather play them first. Playing Div 2 right, right now, Whackaday. <laughs> I've heard Whackaday that, like, when I played Division 2 when it was in the beta, and it just felt like Division 1. I think I, div I, think I called it Division 1.2. Um, but I've heard that Division 2's got quite a lot of stuff in it.
Yeah, I've heard the Metro games are good. Gamma. Two-year hype. Sorry I can't join much of the Yachts weekend and the convoy on Saturday. I'm going to Canada. Gamma. No worries, my man. Thank you for a golden acorn two years. Yeah, that I did hear Wackaday. The Division 2 is very bullet spongy. And when I, when I tried the beta, I kind of felt that. It's like, um, what's it called? Destiny. Destiny is the same, isn't it? It's a similar kind of game in the sense that you kind of go on raids and stuff. But the the boss the, the people that you fight are really bullet spongy. Especially the bosses, like it's just insane. What game are you waiting to come out and play? Um probably um what's it called? My god, my brain's not working. I think it's because I'm tired. Um, the Bush Pilot one. Dead Stick. Dead Stick's probably on my hit list. Although, I am concerned that Dead, Dead Stick won't have enough to do. But we'll see. Make it better as you're giving the real spongy guys the visible armor. I don't, I don't really think. A beat of heaven. I think we discussed Google Stadia um, a couple of weeks ago when they announced it. We talked about the bandwidth, so I'm not going to repeat myself. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, Kina Star. You'll find there's a nice community here. Oh man, back to the middle lane. Take out a bike. <laughs> Do I ever want to downshift and hammer on it? Uh, well, it doesn't really do very much in a truck. <laughs> There's a lot of weight, so... You put your foot down and not a great deal happens. Oh my god. And that was the police as well. Of all the motorbikes you've owned, which is my favourite? Uh, for two different reasons, Boatman's. The Honda Fireblade was an absolutely wonderful machine. Just absolute joy to ride. But I would have to say the BMW R1200GS was the best bike. Uh, the best all-round bike I ever owned. Like, it would do anything. And up to about 70, 80 miles an hour, it could more than keep up with a Fireblade. It can get its power down so fast. Yes, please, Dave. Thanks for offering. With the items you get sent, try out and do videos... Wait, what? With the items you get sent to try out and do videos on, and have to send that product, do you have to pay the postage back to send it back, or does the company send you postage labels so you don't have to cough up the postage in the case of Asus Dave what normally happens is they will courier it to me uh, I then make the video and then they will arrange pick up from a courier so all I do is they just say on Wednesday the courier is going to pick it up and then they knock on the door take it give me a receipt I don't pay for the postage
1.2 litres on a bike is madness. Nah, it really isn't. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's it's not the size of the engine, it's how it puts the power down. And, and a, a shaft drive BMW 1200 has two massive pots, like two 600cc pots on it. Huge amounts of torque. Huge amounts of torque. You twist that throttle and it's just gone. But once, like I say, you get to like a hundred in it, it starts to sort of back off a bit because it's a twin. It's a twin four-stroke engine that's designed for torque. So it's the power is always available. Always available. In all the slow speeds around town, on the on the highways, on the A roads, on the country roads, the power is always there which is completely unlike a Fireblade sports bike, where the power is always up at the 10, 12, 13,000 RPM range. And you've got to rev it hard to get that power. And that's the difference. That's why it's a much more enjoyable machine, because you, you've always got the... Let's face it. What puts a smile on your face? Is it top speed or is it pulling power? It's mostly pulling power. It's acceleration is what people like, yeah? And it's got buckets of it. Expensive to send that monitor back, Dave? Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to play Red Dead Redemption 2, um, but I'd really rather play it on a PC. Greetings from Greece, Jimmy. Hello. Van Blue, thank you for seven months. Do you know, I'm going to have to make my own cups of tea tonight. Mrs. Squirrel's gone to the cinema with the rest of the family. <laughs> I'm abandoned. I wonder if Doyle wants to sit with me. You're a bit of a bike geek. If you're thinking about getting a 1200, all I can suggest is go down to the BMW dealer and go for a test ride. It's a big machine. It takes a bit of getting used to. It's a big machine. But once it's moving, it's, it's just wonderful. Wonderful bike. I actually don't know what they're watching at the cinema. I don't have a teapot in the studio, no. <laughs> Am I going to do a PC upgrading? Um, yeah, I, I do want to upgrade my PC. Well, actually build another one this year. But that's all uh, in the mix at the moment. Tassimo's inside, Dave. I don't tend to use the Tassimo now. I tend to just make a, um, a proper coffee. Thanks, Raymond. You mentioned about a motorcycle mod not being merged. Yeah, I think somebody said last week that Jazzy Cat's motorcycle mod has been merged into one of the Jazzy Cat AI packs. So if you run both, you end up with a lot of motorbikes. That's what I heard. Mr. Whiteland, what drink do goalies hate? Panel tea. Is that even a drink, Whiteland, or did you make that up? It says on the Jazzicat motorcycle traffic pack, including two versions, for use with the default traffic and for use with the AI. Yeah, Vrome, that's always said that. It's always said that, Vrome. Um, if you use the Jazzicat AI pack, you, you have to use one... There's like three mods in the pack. One's the base file, and then the other one says def on it. Use that if you're using default traffic. And there's like a Jazzicat one if you're using the Jazzicat traffic. 
it makes no mention for home of what somebody said last week when they said if you run the Jazzy Cat motorcycle pack oh, yeah, it, yeah. it doubles up on motorcycles because he's included it in, in the AI pack which I don't it doesn't make any sense because of what it says on the website so I don't know but I do know I'm seeing a lot of motorbikes <laughs> Bob Monkhouse, I can't drink beer at the moment due to the medication for my anxiety, so here's the beer tokens that I would have spent. Thank you, Bob. It will be interesting to see how that works out for you, Bob. Like, if it makes a difference. Good luck. I've not even, Chris, I've not even watched that once yet. <laughs> Cal Downsy, how you doing? You're on beta blockers, Bob. Yeah, they're not fun. My mum had those. They make you tired as well. Mr. Whiteland, how do you ask a dinosaur out for lunch? Tea, Rex? That's terrible! Whiteland, that is genuinely terrible. Even I draw the line, and that one's below the line. It's not even good, terrible. <laughs> AN4211 with a sub bomb of four. Thank you for gifting four subs, AN4211. You just made four people happy. Guys, if you're one of the lucky four, please remember to thank AN4211 for the sub. need to be delivered 16 hours of real time so in that case I can just sleep and make it daytime we'll do that B, welcome back, and Raken Claw, thank you very much for subbing Raken Claw. Welcome to the net house. Almost sounds like Raven Claw. Welcome back. You got this truck we're using, but doesn't work. Well, I don't know. It works for me. It's brilliant. It's a brilliant mod. I love this PCAB. If I could have this PCAB in Trucking Diaries, I'd have it. It's rake and claw. Ah. Rake, rake and claw, rake and claw. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm with you. So it's not a Harry Potter reference then? Yep, it is Jimmy. You're a golden acorner, <laughs> snooker man. Is that what we call it now? A golden acorner. What's Harry Potter? Oh, that's the one where Dumbledore dies. Oopsie. Uh, Beaker, what I'll do is I'll carry on with some Trucking Diaries EU and see how it goes. 
If it starts to fizzle out, I'll, I'll just end it. As for the Trucking Diaries US, I'm, I'm not going to start that until I see what happens with EU. Blah! Thank you for 32 months. Whiteland. What do teapots wear at a tea party? A t-shirt. Whiteland. Cracker jokes on us. You've heard there's a DLC coming out for the game. What kind of DLC? There's always DLC coming out for this game. <laughs> Shut it, Beaker. Was Pringle. It's not his shift. Whiteland's taken over. He's standing in for Pringle. Promote still cooking, what do you mean? Uh, next week should be back to the normal schedule, new lunch, once online, Friday to Sunday. And then the one after that is possibly... Is that TwitchCon? That's TwitchCon, isn't it? Yeah. So depending on Brexit, I could be at TwitchCon or not. Who knows? Whoa, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are we slowing down? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Doesn't make any sense. Why? Why? Somebody just gifted a sub bomb. Bob! Bob Monkhouse. Just gifted five subs, I think. Five more nutters in the fold. If you just got gifted a sub, please thank Bob Monkhouse for his generosity. I'll be going to Truckfest Peterborough in May. I actually thought that was Whiteland then. Legit Rob. Thank you for the bits. Game audio, Whiteland. Yep. We've definitely got game audio. What map DLCs do you need for promotes? All of them. Thought it was Connor. <laughs> I thought it was Whiteland. Welcome to the Nut House. He's a bit forward of the line, isn't he? What's the trailer? It's the uh, it's the event, the Euro Truck event. <laughs> like that really helps. That really helps. The jet rob with a sub bomb. Wowzers. Thank you so much guys. The jet rob just gifted five subs. So yeah, if you just got a sub, it was either from Bob Monkhouse or the jet rob. Super generous gifting. Amazon crazy. Amazing crazy. The SCS wording, one sec. The SCS wording is a bit confusing. Yes, I agree. I just did a delivery from Berlin to Posman, and one right after that from Bremen to Posman, and the second delivery counted towards the 10. 
i.e. you can deliver all 10 racing team trailers from the home city to a single destination, but an additional reward. Yeah, basically... Welcome back. Basically, in order to get the 10, you have to deliver from the 10 starting cities, and this is the key. You need to do all the starting cities for the, for the whole 10. In order to do the second bit, you need five different destinations, which you can only do when they rotate the destination every three days. A lot of people are going to be very confused by the whole thing. Even when you explain it, it's like... I think I get it. <laughs> Nah, I'm not I'm not gonna try Tropico 6. Too many games to play. Holy sub bomb the jet rob. There goes fifteen subs. Oh boy. Welcome back. One five subs, fifteen subs. Thank you very, very much, legit Rob. Most of those are resubs. There's like one, two, three, four, five, five new subscribers and ten resubscribers. Welcome back. If you just got a sub, remember to thank legit Rob for it. Thank you very, very much, sir. Well, Captain Flint, you was in the minority. A lot of people are confused by it because it's ambiguous. And like they think they understand it, they start delivering and then realize the like the counter's not going up and they don't understand why. Uh, legit Rob, I love the community, the best one on Twitch, so I decided to show some love and pay it back. That's super generous of you, sir. Thank you so much. You made a bunch of people happy. And out of those people who've just been gifted a sub today, if you want to join the, the Eurotruck convoy, which happens next weekend, you have only today left to apply. Only today. But now you're a sub... You're entitled to take part. So if you want to take part in next weekend's convoy, you better get your application in before 11 o'clock tonight. You've got like, what, three hours, four hours left? Oh my god. Sub bomb of 10 from Bob Monkhouse. Holy moly. That's a lot of new subs again. <laughs> Bob, thank you, mate. Thank you for gifting even more subs. We really, we really are being carpet bombed. <laughs> so yeah, if you've been lucky enough to get a sub off one of these generous people, then uh, exclamation mark convoy. Exclamation mark convoy. Click on that link and get you, get yourself applied. In the convoys next weekend, next Saturday. Chris, congrats on 200,000 Twitch followers. Did that actually happen? Welcome Chris? To the house. Did that actually happen? Let's have a look. Uh, holy moly, it did as well. Holy moly! Hey! Well, that's a milestone. Wowzers, that's been a while coming. <laughs> GG. Wow, 200,000 followers, guys. Awesome. Thank you, everybody that's uh, new to the channel and hit follow and help make that number happen. Thank you. Yay. 200k followers. Woohoo. Milestone unlocked. <laughs> Back. 
PC can't play convoy music, yep. Wow, 200,000 followers on Twitch. Thanks for pointing out, Chris. I didn't realize we were that close, honestly. Like, we were stuck on 196 for a little while. Mr. Einix, Sweden, thank you for 41. And Booch, welcome back with 26. Peace. So that mod to put Twitch followers into Skylines might be worthwhile. Lol. No, I think it, it puts the viewers in the game. It doesn't put the followers in the game, I don't think. I'm not sure how it works. Right, did that count? Wait, what? We've gone to four of ten. Welcome back, Nutter. So it looks like it... So Mannheim, Berlin... Bratislava and Amsterdam. Yeah. It, it basically it only counts the the team and each one team per city starting point. And that's how you get the whole ten. Beginning the stream today you were just under a hundred followers left. I didn't know, Chris. Honestly. I don't look at the number. I never knew. I had no idea. When somebody said you're not far off 200,000, I just thought they meant, ah, you're on 197 or something. Welcome to the nut house. You still get the destinations while doing the main quest. Well, <clears throat> yes and no. Um, you know, I can't do this second part, but I can do this part. X Luke, congrats on 200,000 followers. You really deserve it. Keep going. Thank you very much, Luke. Oh, that's that's really nice. I, totally unexpected. Now, Dave, emote slots don't work on followers. Emote slots work on sub points. To the nut house. Um, you get them, but you won't get the reward until you've done the 10 cargo trailers. Welcome to the nut house. A small city following you, indeed. The entire population of Nutroit almost is following. Welcome to the nut house. So, Prague, Mannheim, and Stuttgart. Don't Mannheim. Can do Prague or Stuttgart next. Let's try. Welcome to the Nut House. Let's try Prague. Home of SCS. Welcome to the Nut House. Two-thirds of the population of Iceland is falling. Really, why? Are they 300k? Blimey. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Hmm. I think they should have done, Chris. They should have put the headquarters in here. Welcome back. I had to try it. Which one was it? That one? Is that it? Boogie Racing. It doesn't look like the same trailer, so that's why I just ignored it. Welcome back. I don't... Dude! It, that's the first time it's not been a box trailer for me. Flippin' heck, you guys. It's so intolerant. <laughs> right, let's go and pick this up. I think I'm going to have to go make a coffee in a minute. If you demand perfection, you're in the wrong channel. <laughs> you 
You're trying to cheer with bits, but it's not working. Have you cheered with bits before? I've not seen a Carlsberg advert on TV for a long, long time. Like that whole probably the best lager thing. It's been a long time. Maybe they've realised they're not actually the best lager in the world. <laughs> It's your first time you've got 300 bits uh, on how many bits are you trying to cheer with? Happy anniversary, Nata. Sack plays. Thank you for two months. Been following you for some time on YouTube. Not that long ago on Twitch. Happy to support a great content creator. Congrats on 200k. Thank you, Zach. You've never seen any alcohol ad. Are they banned in Norway, Wyland? Interesting. Wow. Seems a bit harsh. What's wrong with advertising beer? <laughs> Andy Mine, thank you for eight months. Family time, not intended, but totally intended. We went an hour ahead for no good reason again. <laughs> Wait. Should we stick to being one hour forward, or should we stick to being one hour back? I've been streaming all day, chops don't know. GMT dead on. I'm happy with staying in GMT. You know. The whole the whole moving the clock thing around. I don't think we need it anymore. I think it's like old school. Prefer lighter mornings than evenings, Heyman. Um I'll tell you what. Actually it wouldn't affect winter, would it? It only it doesn't affect winter, it only affects summer. Actually, no, it would. It would affect winter. No, it wouldn't. Yeah, anyway, they should get rid of it. Just just leave it on GMT. Stop messing around with it. <laughs> it just... It confuses everybody. And especially how different countries move at different times. That's even more confusing. Yeah, exactly what happened. I was trying to work out if it affects... Like, it would affect my night flying, but it wouldn't. Thank you for the bits, Raymond. You worked it out, my man. Thank you very much. Dan Squirrel Dan. You could just drink a GNC, Motley. I never knew you liked GNC. Stay in British summertime. We can't do that. If we stay in British summertime, we'd have to redefine GMT. Otherwise, we're always going to be GMT plus one, which is a bit weird for the Prime Meridian. <laughs> yes, this is the Prime Meridian, and it's always plus one. Now that was close. Biker was very brave. <laughs> 
står där. Är det en kyssare? Right, I'm just going to go make a coffee. I should be back in a second. You're stupid to play this game while, drink, while drinking strong beer. Yes. I've got to make my own drinks tonight. Back in a sec. Oh, more dolls here. I don't know what we're going to do about the schmackos later. I've been well and truly abandoned. 
But I've just brought his blanket in, so don't use that here. Yeah, I made a coffee, so I didn't need to make, wait for it to brew. Yeah, but I didn't bring his schmackos in, I don't think. And he sat in there on his own, so as soon as I walked in, he came in wagging his tail. He was like, can I come with you? Can I come with some of you? What year was my Fireblade? Uh, crikey, now you're asking. 2003, I think. I think. Tea. <laughs> no, I've got a coffee. Coffee, not tea. How could you, dude? I need caffeine. It's been a, it's been a long week. I'm tired. I need caffeine. Plus, it's quicker to make. No, there's no Mr. Squirrel. It's Mother's Day. She's at the cinema. Don't enjoy yourself. Yep, Mr. Squirrel's sound effect. Can't join the convoy, you're going to a LAN party. RIP. 